Welcome back. Now that we've had a few weeks back in school, today we'd like to go over the student code of conduct. I know we usually do this in the auditorium, but this way you can review it on our website as needed. So we'd like to show you the pathway to graduation and the number of credits that you need. This slide will show you what you need in English, math, science, social studies as your core, and everything else required. You can see that you have to have an English every year. Once you get your three credits for math, science, and social studies, you're good there. And you can see your health and your phys ed classes, what you need for arts and humanities, and your technology. And everything has to add up to 24 credits at a minimum in order to graduate. And to be promoted to the 10th grade, the student must have earned five or more credits during 9th grade. So you have to have earned five credits to move on to the next level from freshman to sophomore. For a student to be promoted to the 11th grade, you need to have 11 or more credits during your 9th and 10th grade years. And finally, to move up to your senior year, you have to have at least 17 credits during your 9th, 10th, and 11th grade years. In looking at the next section for Chromebooks, this has changed from previous years because you now get to take those home with you. So you're each assigned a Chromebook. We're at a one-to-one, -one, so each student has their own Chromebook. You are responsible to take it home, take care of it, charge it, and make sure it's ready for the next day. Any damaged Chromebooks must be reported immediately to the office. Please do not deface the Chromebooks. Don't draw on them. Don't remove the stickers. If you have an issue with the Chromebook, you can see Mr. Goodwill in the library. Depending on the situation and what happened, if it is damaged, you may be sent to the office or you may be loaned another Chromebook. If there's intentional damage, you may be billed the repair cost. Accidental damage, first time's a warning. Second time and beyond, if it happens, you'll be billed a fee or you may have to purchase a new Chromebook. Electronic devices. You're allowed to use any electronic device before school and after school, between classes and in lunch. No earbuds, headphones, AirPods are in the hallways. Consequences. First time, electronic device is sent to the office, pick it up after school. Second time, the electronic device is sent to the office, after school detention, parents must pick up the electronic device. Third offense. Electronic device sent to the office, in school suspension, parent must pick up the device after suspension is served. Fourth, disciplinary hearing can no longer carry the phone during the day. Discipline. Detention. We have morning detention from 6.40 to 7.40. You sign in the front office. After school detention is from 3 to 4 in the library. Lunch detention will be assigned during lunch time. Extended detention is from 3 to 5. In school suspension, there are no electronic devices except your Chromebook. All assignments must be completed. You can bring your own lunch or you can get the brown bag lunch from the cafeteria. Out of school suspension, return to school requires parent or guardian conference prior to return. Lockers, for your use only. Do not preset, do not jam, clean it regularly, it's school property, remember, not yours. And you can go to it before school, after lunch, and at the end of the day. Always. During school, must have a pass. After school, must leave unless have the purpose. And one pass per person. Safe to say, find a trusted adult if you have any concerns. The number's on the dress code. No excessive baggy pants, no hats, unless you have a face shield on it. Tech hats must be left in tech lockers. Undergarments should not be exposed. Tops may not be low cut or exposing. Bare midriff is not allowed. The following are unacceptable school attire. Tank tops, spaghetti strap, see-through blouse shirt, coats, short skirts, sexually suggestive writing or pictures, advocating violence, advertising tobacco, alcohol, drugs, or obscene language. Face coverings.
students will follow the order for universal face coverings issued by Pennsylvania Department of Health and dated July 1st, 2020. All students must wear face coverings, shield or mask at all times except as permitted. Eating or drinking when spaced at least six feet apart. When wearing face coverings, create an unsafe condition in which to operate equipment or execute tasks at least six feet apart during face covering breaks or no longer lasting more than 10 minutes. All other school rules are written out in the Student Code of Conduct, which is held on our website. Thank you. Have a good day.